Amen. We serve a wonderful God. Amen. He is the God of wonders, and we hope and pray that His wonders be seen in our everyday life. Open your Bibles, please, the book of Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter number 11. We will read one verse this evening, and then we will jump to the Old Testament, to the story of this man that we are going to talk about. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse number 32. Hebrews 11:32. Let's all stand up, please. Manindukta one time, and then uh, just to get our circulation going. And let's read together verse 32 for our text message tonight. Text verse for the message tonight. Ready? Everybody read. And what shall I more say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon, and of Barak, and of Samson, and of Jephthah, of David also, and Samuel and of the prophets. Dear Heavenly Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we claim your Holy Spirit's power and Holy Spirit's anointing upon each and every one of us tonight. Help me, Lord, to be a blessing to your people, even as we dive into the study of the life of Gideon. In connection, Lord, to the challenge that you have given to us, to pray to you, the Lord of the harvest, that you will send forth laborers into the harvest. Lord, we are your laborers. We are the ones that will help people come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And Lord, I pray that you will put in our church a burden for souls, especially in these last days where people truly need you now more than ever. We commit each and every one to you. If there's anyone here today, maybe in the auditorium or maybe tune in online that has not been saved, not born again, they do not know for sure when they die, they will be with you in heaven Lord, I pray that they will accept you, Lord Jesus, as the only Savior of, li of their lives and uh, believe in the finished work that you have done on the cross of Calvary for them. You shed your precious holy blood. You, were, you died. You were buried. And on the third day, you rose again. Lord, this is, as your word says, the power of the gospel to them that believe. Lord, I pray that your gospel go forth into the different lands, ethnic groups, communities around the world, starting here in our church. And Lord, continue to use us mightily till you come back to take us home. Bless every family here, Lord, today. May we, may we be united as a church family. And Lord, uh, uh, serve you. And Lord, uh, be uh, uh, used of you until you take us home. We commit all this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you. You may be seated. Tonight, we're going to talk about people of faith. And of course, we all know that Hebrews chapter 11 is a chapter um, highlighting specific individuals in the Bible that lived a life of faith. And as we study the life of Gideon, and as I read Gideon's uh, life once again, which is found in uh, Judges chapter number 6, 7, and 8, we find that, uh, I find that there is a lot of similarity in Gideon's life and my life. And you probably feel that way. Maybe you can uh, uh, relate to the life of Barak, maybe to the life of Samson, maybe to the life of Abraham, uh, maybe to the life of Sarah, maybe to the life of, uh, of Jephthah, maybe to the life of Samuel and, and, and all this, Moses and Noah, Enoch. And, and these are mentioned in chapter number 11. A life of faith is a life that God develops in us. Always remember that. A life of faith is a life that God develops in us. And you know, tonight, God wants to use us. If we are ever going to be effective laborers, and by the way, there are only two fields that we can be in. Either we are in the harvest field or we are in the battlefield. Those are two fields that we are in, in the service of the Lord. And tonight, in order for us to be faithful in our mission and seeing a great harvest, be effective in the harvest that God has laid before us, we need to possess faith, much like the faith of Gideon. And that faith possess us. Apart from this, we will never have a life really that is purposeful. Usahay ang atong kinabuhi, paligoy-ligoy lang. Nga naman, walay direction, walay faith in God. 
when we leave this world, ang pangutana, the question is, where they, will there be a vacancy? Kanabang naabagoy ipikto kung mawa ka. Basig ining kawa na to, mura la sa gwa. Mura la sa tagwa diha. Kinahanglan na atong life na impact And that is what we are trying to inculcate. In fact, that is the theme sa atong, uh, uh, ang atong uh, drive, sa atong uh, academy, sa atong Christian uh, school ministry. Impact. Gibalik-balik yun na nato. And it is an acronym. Impact yun ang i-develop nato sa atong mga bataan because today, you know, uh, uh, our young people today, our generation today, do not like to be engaged. They are engaged in the wrong things. They are not engaged in things that really matter. They are engaged in, in things that do not really matter. And sometimes they try to engage in things that matter, but because they are not having that heart for it, Murag, Konra, Kanang, Kanang, it's just academic. It's just head knowledge. There is no heart to really what they want to be involved in. Now, when we are born, we are born to live. So, our life is but a, a short life. In, in uh, next year, I will be turning 50. Cinquenta na, golden ako, sunod doig. And I say that to say this, when I look back, I, I do, not, do not really think about it, but when I look back, nakaingon ko sa akong linggon, cinquenta na ko. Paspasa sad sa panahon, oy. Really, li- life really goes by fast. And one time I asked my, my father, I asked my dad, he will be turning 90 next year. He will be turning 90, I'll be turning 50. We were both born in the year of the twos. Siya 1932, ako 1972. So, mo anang uh, ing ana ang among agwat. But in, at any rate, I asked him, what does it feel, how does it feel to be. 89. Kaya 89 naman siya karoon. In short, really, I do not really think about 89. I do not feel 89. It's life just goes by really fast. Maunang atong kinabuhi karoon. Maunang ang atong life dapat dili nato sayangan. Dili nato sayangon. There is more to life than just existing. God wants to use us. God wants to use us. And looking at the life of Gideon, we will see here five things. I'm going to go fast, uh, but these five things are very important things uh, <clears throat> for, for us to know the kind of people that God uses. Open to Judges chapter 6. Let's go to uh, <clears throat> this passage of Scripture, Judges chapter 6. Here we find the story of Gideon. Dili na to basahon ang tanan, no? Naasa 6, nasa 7. In fact, <clears throat> abot gya po ni siya sa uban nga mga uh, passages. But at any rate, focused ang iyang life, both sa Judges 6 and 7. And here, we find the Old Testament record of his story. Let's look at this one verse, and the Bible says, And there came an angel of the Lord, and sat under an oak, which was in o- Ophrah. Mo ni pagpronounce nila Ophrah. Pero sa ato dari Oprah, kami nagpuyo sa Oprah. Pero dili ang aning nga spelling sa barangay kalunasan. <coughs> Excuse me. That pertain unto Joash, the, Abiz, <coughs> the Ab- Abizrite, and his son Gideon threshed wheat by the winepress to hide it from the Midian, Midianites. Now, just the background of this story, these were dark days for the nation of Israel. Now, wala silay leader, wala silay hari ang naara nila judge. Magsigig ilis-ilis ang ilang mga judges tungod kay gahi kay ulo ang mga katauhan sa Dios. Now, when God gives you a leader, you should be thankful. In the home, when you have a leader in the home, pasalamati imong leader, pasalamati na imong amahan. Pray for your leader. Wives, pray for your husband. For your husband has been tasked the, the responsibility, the position of leadership in the home. 
dili mo manubag sa home, ang manubag sa home ang bana. Kaming mga bana manubag, dili ka mo. Mo nang importante in town, maluoy town mo na mo. Amen? Maluoy town mo. You know, wives and husbands, and, and this is something that, by the way, we're going to uh, also tackle in our upcoming uh, couples event, karong 14 or 15, reminder lang ni, no? karong uh, 14 and 15, cherish your spouse, dili competition ang banag asawa. Okay? Many times, there are wives that are so intimidated. Nga nung kaning akong bana mag na leader? Dapat ako yung na leader? Kay mas maayo ko. Pero dili man na mo ay gibutang sa ginoo diri. Ang imo mang bana, tabangi imong bana maging leader. Pray for them. Now, I know there are delinquent husbands. Kabalo ko ni Ana. And, and there are some of us that have, are, are we are praying together with you for your husband nga maging faithful sila diha sa ginoo kay badlungon gyud ang husband mas badlungon pa ang bana kaysa mga bata na amay delinquent children na asay delinquent parents oy badlungon ka ayoy but at any rate these were dark days in Israel people were devoured literally one by one by the devil satan our adversary this morning we learn in the message that we have a, a powerful adversary that's the devil we are not against each other, but rather we are against the devil. The devil is trying to pit us one against the other, but no, we are not enemies. We may have differences, but that does not mean we are enemies. That's why our theme this month is what? Unity. We need to be united. We need to be one in spite of our differences. That is always the heart of our Lord Jesus Christ. Unity in diversity not uniformity the cults go for uniformity pariha tanan pariha kinaiya pariha og hitsura pariha tupi dili man tayong ana we have been made differently and designed differently and the challenge is how that we can be united in our differences more challenge and people during this time we're looking for miracles and supernatural stories of God nga ilang nadunggan sa ilang mga apuhan. In fact, when I was reading this passage of Scripture, Gideon was ask, asking, Asa naman to ang katong ipangsulting ang mga milagro sa among mga apuhan, sa among mga ginikanan? Nga nung kami, waam lang may milagrohan. Hantod karon we are suffering under the hands of these Midianites. We are in a bad situation. And they were looking for the miracles of God and, and they wanted their own supernatural stories of God's hand because during this time, they really had a hard time grasping and believing that God could do the same during their day. You know, when COVID hit, <laughs> folks, maka, maka pangayo ta sa ginoog milagro eh? when ma many of our brethren nasakit sa covid many of our pastors nasakit sa covid uban nila were were put in a critical situation hilak ta sa ginoo lord do a miracle many have been healed but some have god has chosen to take them home but of course they are in a far better place than us but nevertheless, during this time, the people of God thought, Napabay milagro na hibilin sa gino? Nahurot na ba yung milagro? This is typical in our world today. People do not believe that God can do a mighty work. Typical of our churches today, and this challenge of Project 938 is before us because we still believe, we still believe in God. We still believe God can do a great miracle through our church. We sing a great harvest. And I believe our missionaries feel the same way. And I hope our missionaries, not just only our missionaries in the foreign land, but also in the local field, nga dili gita mawagtangan o paglaom, nga naagyoy mahimo ang Diyos sa atong kapanahonan karon. The days of Bible Baptist Church and the great harvest that this church has enjoyed for many years are not yet over. Do not put 
in the towel and say, ah, okay na, 64 years, pahits na na, daghanang tag nakitang naluwas ni Agi Aning atong simbahan, wala pa. Daghan pa kay sa challenge this morning, dako ang trabaho. Nagkadaghan ang mga tao, og the more, the, the work, the bigger the opportunity for us in the work. We need to have our own story of God's faithfulness and wonder and miracle in our, in our life. And that is why the challenge tonight is be used of God. Now, what are or who are the people that God uses? Looking at the life of Gideon. Number one, we find that God uses common people. God uses common people. Judges chapter number 11. Judges chapter number 11. And look at verse number 14. Judges, or I'm sorry, Judges chapter number 7, not 11, but 7, verse number 14. Anyway, I think I, I wrote the uh, wrong address, but let me just read the verse. And the Lord looked upon him and said, Go in this thy might, and thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have not I sent thee? And so here we find that God was talking to Gideon, number one, a very common person. Gideon was a very common person. In fact, the Bible says that Gideon was the least of his brethren. He was the least of his brethren. And God wants to use common people. Many times we think we have this perception that God will only use extraordinary people. Grabi og talent, grabi og speaking uh, ability, grabi og uh, kaning, uh, uh, kanang skill, grabi og uh, uh, connection, grabi og bank account. You know, God uses common people. In the roster of faith, we find that David was a lone shepherd boy. Common. In fact, he was an outcast. Tungon kay di ganahan niya mga egsoon niya. Di siya kibaw nga muhimo sa ilang gihimo. He was an outcast. Many of those that were in the Bible were common folk. You only find a few that were kanang naagid sila talents. One of those is the Apostle Paul, of course. He was a very intelligent person. Dr. Luke, who wrote the book of Luke, Dr. Luke was a physician. But for the rest, komunra ng mga tao. And here, uh, uh, Gideon was a common person, but yet the Lord called him. And so, like this morning's invitation, ayog yung gunahuna, nga di ka magamit sa gino. Ang imo lang yung gunahon, if God has touched your heart, you may not know how, or you may not know why, and you may not know where, but you just say, Lord, here I am. I'm available. You may feel like you are ordinary. But we sing that song and we like that song, God uses ordinary people. Nindot man sa ginang ordinary o common, nga man, kay ang mag-glorify, dili mag-good ang tao, ang mag-glorify ang ginoo. This verse, in verse number 34 of our text, Makita nato dre nga ang ang uh, Ginoo nagalihok sa life ni Gideon and God was moving in his life and the Bible says here that the spirit of the Lord came upon Gideon he blew a trumpet and Abiezer was gathered after him meaning God's spirit literally clothed himself upon Gideon now remember this is the Old Testament in the Old Testament we find that um, uh, ang Holy Spirit wala gapuyo sa lawas sa usang ka magtotoo. Luwas sila, pero wala mupuyo sa ilang lawas. Kita karon sa atong dispensation, sa atong kapanahonan karon. we are in the dispensation of the church. Listen, the Bible says that the Holy Spirit lives in us 
and lives in our body in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse number 19 and 20. Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, which you have of God, and ye are not your own. If you go to John chapter 15, the Bible says, he will, I will give you another comforter and He will be with you forever. Dili mo biya ang balang Espiritu sa Kristohanon karun. Pero sa unang panahon, luwa sila, pero na ay panahon nga wala ang Holy Spirit na. Pero kung naagan ng Holy Spirit, what a mighty and powerful person they are, they, 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 they would be. Samson, if you notice the story, also he's here in the Judges. The Bible says, and the Spirit of the Lord came upon Samson and then he, he just uh, was, was filled with might. And, and by the way, Samson was not this muscular fellow na makita nato sa mga drawing sa ato mga visual aids. If you study the life of Samson, he was a very ordinary person. Mabitang naglagot kaayo ang mga Philistines niya. Kay naglibog sila, asa mang yud ang source sa iyang strength. Wala man sila mo ingon, aw, kanang dako man sila glawas good. And, and we think, you know, when I was growing up, I thought Samson was like the incredible Hulk. Nga mula kao siya, dako kay, here comes Samson, dako kay siya glawas, ana ba? Dili. Samson was just an ordinary fellow, much like our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus did not walk just like what we see in the pictures. Naasay glow. Naasay glow ba? Kaya mga drawing bitaw nga naay glow. Jesus did not do that. Wala na. He was an ordinary person. That's why people could not believe. People could not could not swallow him, declaring himself as the Son of God. So ko sila kay kung naapato siya glow, dili ito sila basta basta mo mo action og bato niya oy naaman ni siya siga lahi man ni wala lagi ko ana nganong kana siya naaman but you know what they were mad at the lord jesus christ god uses common people judges chapter 6 we find that here he was a common folk it is not necessarily the man but god inside of the man open to first corinthians chapter 1 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Look at verse number 26. 1 Corinthians 1, 26. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called, but God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. You know, the whole point of ministry is to see God work in and through us. Now, we must strike this balance, folks. I know we are moving towards uh, having our, our school at Atong College, Babius um, Colleges. Atong uh, gi-endeavor nga naata i-offer sa Atong Bible School also a bachelor's degree. But we are not doing that for any other reason other than be making inroads for the ministry. Mora, many times, kung dili na magbantay, kung, kung dili na to ni uh, matngunan, magsalig ta sa atong degree kaysa ginoo. I have nothing against a degree. I have a degree. But you know what? Dilita dapat mo sa atong degree. If God opens a door of opportunity for you to get a degree so that you can be more effective and even more uh, uh, penetrating sa mga areas that God has called you, do, do it. That's the only reason. But if you are where you are right now, you are effective, ayon nagka feel insecure kay wa kay degree. Are you with me? Ayo ka. Let God work in you and through you. Many times we get insecure. Dapat na ako aning position. Dapat na ako ana. Pray. Ask God's wisdom. Kung kinhanlan ka ana and God opens the door, then sige. Pag masters diha, pag doctor diha, pag uh, uh, PhD on sa pana, no problem. We're not against that. But we have to strike a balance. Many times we spend so many hours trying to get a degree, but yet wala ta magpagamit sa ginoo. 
na ay wide degree, perti, perti gamit sa ginoo. Ang question ana, paggamit rata sa ginoo? Because God uses common people. It is not scholarship but relationship. It is not ability but availability. It is not fame but faith and magbantay ta mga kaigsuna ni ana. Magbantay ta. God uses the ordinary to make something extraordinary for His glory. We, are, we get so easily enamored by the accomplishments of men, but never appreciate what God has accomplished through the man or through the person. First of all, God uses common people. Secondly, God uses cleansed people. Judges chapter number uh, 6, verse number 25. And it came to pass the same night that the Lord said unto him, Take thy father's young bullock, even the second bullock of seven years old, and throw down the altar of Baal that thy father hath, and cut down the grove that is by it. Now, common si Gideon, pero na ay problema. Ang iyang pamilya, idol worshiper. Now, if you want God to use you, if we want God to use us, we need to take down the idols that are keeping us from fully serving the Lord. In fact, you know, Gideon was also named Jerubal. Okay, naan siya ay connection sa Baal worship sa ilang pamilya. Sa chapter number 7, sa verse number 1, makita ni mo, then Jerubal, who is Gideon? Kanang idols sa atong ginawa we may not be worshipping like the pagans do, but don't you realize even as Christians, we still have idols in our life. An idol is anything we fear more, we love more, we adore more, we cherish more than God. Moogyoy mag-occupy sa atong unahuna kanunay than God. You know, I, I told you this when, when our dear friend, Pastor Takera, died. I, it, just, it just wouldn't register in my ma- mind. He was a good friend. When you appeal to the world missions NATO movement, it just wouldn't register in my mind that God would take him home. See, si Brother Julo, Sasad Anna. Member nato diri. You know, things like that. And they just occupied my mind to the point where instead of accepting God's decision, murag usahay, musul sa akong mind, magmahay ko sa gino ba, Lord, nga nung gikuha man ni Gilbert? Lord, nga nung gikuha man ni Julo? Lord, nga nung gikuha man ni si Brother So and So? Nga nung gikuha? And that has been occupying my mind. And the Holy Spirit had to remind me, oops, murag alert. <laughs> Warning. Murag mauna lang na sa si imong unahuna, nawa na ko sa sa imong unahuna. Murag now you are trying to manipulate the situation, you are trying to say kung kani lang na hitabo, kung mao lang ni, kung mao lang na nya wa man na mahitabo. God is still in control and God is God. And we must put God first and foremost in our mind. Anything that we substitute for God is an idol. Bantaya na to. O sahay kung di magbantay atong trabaho na himo ng idol. We do not give the energy that God deserves. Sayo kaita sa atong trabaho. Mangandam yun ta para sa atong trabaho. Pero pag-abot sa pagsimba sa ginoo, pag-alagat sa ginoo, dili na to 100% nagihatagan na to energy. Creative kay ta sa atong trabaho, kay giswilduhan man ta. Pero pag-abot sa pagpangalagat sa Diyos, di ta creative. Muratag na bugo ba? Maayo ra kay ta sa gawas, pero di ta maayo para sa buluhaton sa Diyos. Idol na. Your persona can be an idol. 
Believe kay ka sa imong kaugalingon. Your dreams, your ambitions, that is not, wala siya nagikan sa Diyos. Imo rana. Giuna ni mo imong ambisyon niya. Kauman, makaabot ka ni Ana. Asa naman tong ginoo? Be? Lord, gamita ko kay ko naman ko. Mao naman ni. Eh. Pero di na mo ay plano sa ginoo. Imo rana ng plano. Your money, your friends can be an idol. Your position can be an idol. Even your sinful lifestyle. There are many Christians today. Di giyod kabiya sa sala. Di giyod kabiya. Nagpakasala lang yan po noon niya. Mga yung blessing sa ginoo. How can God bless you? Here, Gideon, God said to Gideon, I want to use you, but you have to take away those idols. Isaiah 52, verse number 11. We need to confess and repent of sin. Depart ye, depart ye, go ye out from thence, touch no unclean thing, go ye out of the midst of her, be ye clean, that bear the vessels of the Lord. Gusto sa Diyos nga kaning atong vessel, kaning atong lawas, limpio magamit sa kahimayaan sa Diyos. The question tonight is, Jesus Christ, number one in our life. Does He occupy our ambitions, our, our direction in our life? Naagyod ba ang gino? Siya bagyoy nag-motivate na to ni Ana. Even, I, I would not like to even, um, gitawag, uh, Miss out in saying this to the Bible college students, you may say, "Ah, na naman as last Bible school, ah, na ko ano gina sila sa gino." Even by some Bible college students that have gone gone through the halls of our Bible school, wala sila gitawag sa gino, gitod lang sila, gitod sa amigo, gitod sa mama, gitod sa papa, gitod sa pastor. Ayaw, calling mani mga kaisunan, tanan calling. Kitang tanan na ay tuyo ang ginoo na to. Muna na uban, diri, diri na sa Bible school na save. Nindot sa na, na save ka. Pero you know what, the Bible school is not a reformatory. This is a training ground, folks. God wants to use cleansed people. God wants to use common people. And number three, God wants to use courageous people. Look at verse number 12, chapter 6, verse number 12. And Gideon said unto him, Oh my... Uh, let me see. Verse number... Verse number 12. Judges chapter 6, verse number 12. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. Thou mighty man of valor. Now, God declared to Gideon, Ikaw o sa katao nga naa kay courage diha sa imo. Kitang tanan, gitagaan man ta sa ginoo, through the Holy Spirit, a spirit of courage, of power, of boldness. When you are filled, when we are filled with the Holy Spirit and controlled of the Holy Spirit, much like, if you remember um, the Apostle Peter, when, you are, when we are controlled by the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit does a work in us nga kita mahimong isog. Dili, aron mo patay og tao, manumbag og tao, aron mo sulti mahitungod sa Diyos. Now, if we are a coward, lisod kaayo ta magamit sa ginoo. Diba mo say coward? Ang sama na sa Binisaya. What is a coward in Visayan? Talawan. Talawan. You know, that is why God is building up our faith. Kung talawan ka, o niya na ay mga nangahitabo sa atong life, God is building our faith. Nga dilita mo talaw sa ginoo. Ang ginoo, dili siya mo save, dili siya mo, mo asdang sa story ni Gideon using a grand, great army. In fact, makita nato diri nga God only used 300 people nga nipildi sa Midianites. God is not impressed by size of the congregation. Kita, daghan ta, daghan man, Bible Baptist Church, praise God. Nagpasalamat ta nga 
naata sa Osaka Church nga gi-raise up sa Ginoo, daghan ta naanad ta. We are a big church by the grace of God. But that does not, not necessarily mean nga daghan ta og mahimo. Bisag sa atong faith promise lang, sa akong record diri sa faith promise, namang yung kuy record diri, daladala man ako, ang nikumit lang sa atong faith promise, karong tuiga, 370 ra katao, kadaghan na to. 370 ra. This auditorium can fill 5,000, which on regular days, kung wala pa tong COVID, mapuno, awas-awas pamanggani ni. Pero sa membership na to daghan tag members pero dili tanan involved. That means daghan patag mahimo kung ang daghan ma involved. Pero kung dili sila involved, kita nga involved dili man ta alkansi. Ang involved mo ay gipanalanginan. Amen. Because God is looking for people that are courageous. Faith promise giving is an act of courage. Budget na bayat taron, samot na budget na tasa ona, samot ka budget karon. Pero makita nato wonder upon wonder, miracle upon miracle. Na ay <clears throat> dugay nang a member ng ni appeal of faith promise. Ningon siya nako pastor, wa pagyud mo provide that was towards the end of September in isa. Wa pagyun mo provide ang ginoo sa akong faith, faith promise, Pastor. Pala yung i-appel ko gampo, Pastor. Sige, i-appel tika gampo. Pero let me challenge you. Ako siyang giingnan. I-challenge tika. Do like Abraham. Ihatag usa ang imong faith promise na wa pag provide sa ginoo. Masigna ka diha. Kwa alang sana mo ihatag sa faith promise. kay i-provide na ka sa ginoo. You know, the next week, niingon siya na ako, Pastor, wa pa mahuman ng September. Pastor, palihog kwa sa Palawan, ni abot ng faith promise, gipadahan niya. Amen? Gipadahan niya, wa man siya diri. Tapos lang lugar. Gipada, giblesingan siya sa gino. Wonder upon wonders. You know, the opposite of faith is fear. And ang kakuyaw aning fear, man God, kay kaning fear, pwede ning mo, mo takod. Pwede ni matakod. I, I remember the first time I rode the um, zip line. And gusto na ako nga akong mga anak maka-experience ni anak. That was a long time ago though. So kaming tanan, kaming tibok pamilya, mati akong, akong dili lang anak, akong pamilya, niingon ko nga, mag-goan ta, mag-zip line ta, zip line. Kana bang musakay ka sa PC ba? Kaka ng you know, cable, you know that. Ito mis kagayan, the longest zip line in, in Asia. Pero dili mi sa longest, dito lang mi sa katunga lang. Half a kilometer lang, kay one kilometer man to. And so, dito na mi, ana, niya, ikaw una, di ko, ana, niya. Pero sige, slagtan aon ako. Ako, nakuyawan ako. Anya, ako may amahan. Dapat ako yung leader. Pero kuyawan na yun ko, kay, well, first time yun niya, tan ako gamaya ra aning, kaning PC, uh, pero di to cable, gamaya ra makain. Dagan na kay kagunahuna, unsak hag mo, gawas ni sa iyang kuan, mahagbong ka, dagan na kay kagunahuna. Nakuyawan na ka ba? But, it's very safe though. Gitistingan na magina nila. Otherwise, dili na nahimuon o uh, kanang, kanang attraction. So anyway, naglinya na dito, naglinya niya, dugay kay, kung naman eh, drop naman na niya, diritso na. Niya, daghat ni, takataas ang linya, ang katong saluyo, nagsigig tanaw na mo. Dugay, at, and so you know what, I had to master courage. I had to master, nga naman, kay, kung na, napakita ko, kahadlok, ang ako mga anak, di mo sakay. Papa gani, daddy gani, hadlok mo gani, ako pa ba? Ingon pa ko, ay mo gadlok. <laughs> Pero hadlok dahi ko. Pero we, I had to master courage. And when I mastered courage, folks, my sons mastered courage, Casey mastered courage, my wife mastered, everybody, all of us together, we enjoyed the zip line. Nindot man di ay. Sa una lang, pagbuhi lang ni mo, kuyawan ka, pero pag naanak, oh, okay, mdaydri. 
And that is what the Christian life is about. Fear can be infectious. Deuteronomy 20, verse number 8. And the officers shall speak further unto the people, and they shall say, What man is there that is fearful and faint-hearted? Let him go and return unto his house, lest his brethren's heart faint as well as his heart. Na kung ikaw na kuyawan, mga kaigsunan, ayaw i-announce yun na. Pag-ampo, nga tagaan kag faith sa ginoo. Ay, i-announce yun. Ano man, makatakod ka sa uban. Diri, giingnan sa Diyos, papauli na silang balay kay maguba ni ang atong katuyuan. We will not make good soldiers. We will not make good Christians if we will infect others with fear. Kaning COVID challenge ba yan ni? <clears throat> this is really a wonderful exercise of faith. Kaning COVID. Kaya sometimes ma-over na ta. Nga halos kita na, overtake ka na ta sa fear sa COVID. Wa na tayo may when, when I talked uh, the other day, I just learned uh, Pastor uh, Stephen Taala, o gang ato mga sa Jackson Heights, sa Queens, sa New York, sila daghan nila, in, almost all of them got infected by COVID. Praise God, okay na sila karon. But Pastor Stephen said, including him, his family, mga kabataan, they got infected with COVID. Niingon siya, you know what I told the church? Bisag asa tamo adto, niingon si Pastor Stephen, and I quote, Bisag asa tamo adto, wherever we go, the possibility of getting infected by COVID is there. Mas maay na lang na infected ka diri sa church kung ma-infected man ka. Of course, diri sa ato, we try our best to keep our surroundings as sanitized as we can. But yet, many times, o sahay, makuyawan na ta, di na ta kalihok, we cannot move. Ano man, nakuyawan ta sa COVID. When we look at a person, we do not look at them as potential. We look at them as patients already. Signaan is a COVID. Dili na prospect for salvation or prospect for baptism. Prospect for patient ni. Masignaan ni COVID. Now, don't, don't get me wrong. Naagid tayo mga, naman tayo mga procedures, protocols. Don't get me wrong. Pero dili na dapat makahunong sa atong evangelistic effort. Ha? Di rin nindot kayo ng gospel track distribution? Gwapo kayo. Kaya nga naman, nakakao, ah, hatag ka, basa sila, kumubasa sila. Understandest thou what thou readest? Ha? <laughs> Akong pasabtun tiga sa imong ibasa. Then you talk to them about, depende sa on sa inyong gi, uh, gi, uh, gihatag, no? So don't be fearful. God uses courageous people. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse number 7. Look at what the Bible says. 2 Timothy 1, 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of what? A sound mind. Power. God has given us the power of the Holy Ghost that lives in us. The promise, Acts 1, 8. But ye shall receive power. Now, unsan ni nga power? Gi mention sad ni this morning. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. What is that power? It's resurrection power. It is the same creation power. And the Holy Spirit that lives in us, that same power is in us, literally in us. God gave, gave us power. God gave us love. On summoning love. Love is the one that conquers fear. Sak onako ang pilakabukid. Saw mo nako ang pilakadagat. Labango nako ang pilakasuba. Ha? Awayo nako ang pilaka liyon para lang yun magkita talay mga anak. Mabot na pa ba na ron? <laughs> Ang leon, wala naman sang leon, to ano naman zoo. Pero gugma gani mga kaigsunan, wa gyud. Wa gyud makapugong. Ano man, di mahadlok gugma man. Love conquers fear. Now it is not a question if we are brave enough, but the question is do we love enough? 
the more we love, the braver we get, the courageous, more courageous we get. Now, by nature, dili ko kanang pareha sa uban nga grabe way kahadlok yun ka ng murag asdang yun pirmi. Pero mga kaigsunan, kung hilabta ni mo ako asawa, hilabta ni mo ako mga anak, ako mga family members, maisog ko You know why? Because I love them. When I say to other other koan nga, ayaw ninyo hilabti among mga, among mga membro nga gipastura na ko kay ako may manubag anak. Kasi masuko ko kay na yung mga hubang manghilabot. Of course, hinay man ko anak. Nga naman, because I love the members of Bible Baptist Church. When you love, you are brave. Maisog ka, oy. God has given you power. God has given us love. And what does the verse say? God gave us a sound mind. Dili tadali lang madala sa mga tuo-tuo. But if you are, are controlled by God, if God's Spirit controls us, we, we see things as they are. Wala, malas na malas. Pareha itong gisulti ganina dito sa um, Kenya, masiguro ito, no? Nga di sila mula mano. Kaya kung mula mano sila, ang malas mubalhin, ang sala, ang sakit mubalhin gikan sa tao sa katong iyang gilamanuhan. So malipay siya, yehey, tuan na niya. Tuo-tuo mo na. Ano sa ahay raba tungod kay naluwa luwas ta, pero tungod kay wala nato na girilingkwi sa atong pamsay, gidala nato sa atong pagkakristuhanon. There's some, I, I, I noticed some Christians nagtuo-tuo paghihapon. Hmm, magpapungsoy pa. Ay mo na daw, no? Kung sa mang yun, magpapungsoy ka, magpadedicate ka, naharag yun ng duha. Hmm. Naapatay mga kinahalan ang kolor, kinahalan na ay bato, kinahalan na ay kahoy. Asa naman ang ginoo, ana? By the way, the Christian life is a life of freedom. Wala ta magapos anang mga ing ana. We respect, I, you know, sometimes when I go to a funeral, of course, I respect the ones that are in the funeral, okay? Say, uban nila mo tuog mga yung anak. You do not go to a funeral in a color that is murag birthday color. ba? Pero kung kita lang, kita lang, wala tay, wata magapos, anak. I'm not saying that that's bad. I'm just saying is, ay pagapos, anak. I love colors. Today is, uh, this month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Mo nang Usamang ko sa survivors sa breast cancer. So, mo nang naakoy mga sininang a pink to remind me of God's grace upon my life. And one of the things that I also like is the rainbow. Because when I had cancer years ago, nagambo ko, Lord, gamiton pa ba ko ni mo o dili? I, I finished reading the Bible, I prayed, and then after I prayed, Lord, Kung tubagon ko ni mo, okay. Kung di sad, okay rasad. In Jesus' name, amen. When I looked up in the sky, there was a rainbow. So, nakahinumdum ko nga, kato nga, inko, ako raman siguro yung nagdamgo ani. I told the guy that was with me, I said, dong, tanawa dong. Ang say, nakita ni mo siya, bangaw, pastor. Aw, oh, dili lang yun, ako yung nakakita, hasta sa gas, at tinuod yun, ay. Anya, dili raba to uwan. Hayag kayo nga adlaw. Morning, ni, ni subang ang adlaw. Nay, rainbow. Lord, salamat, Lord. Ha, gamiton po kida ikonin mo. So, I always remember that. Those are things that God has graciously given to me apart from His Word, which is the final authority. But, woman tay problema ni Ana. Ayaw lang tagkagapos ni Ana. Amen? Ayaw tagkagapos ni Ana. Power, love, sound mind. Number four, God uses cautious people. God uses cautious people. Now, 
Here, God is preparing the army for battle against the Midianites. And God is choosing people to be with Gideon in the battle. In chapter number 7, verse number 5, the Bible says here, So he brought down the people unto the water, and the Lord said unto Gideon, Everyone that lappeth the water with his tongue, as a dog lappeth, him shalt thou set by himself. Likewise, everyone that boweth down upon the knees to drink. And the number of them that lapped, putting their hands to their mouth, were three hundred men. Now, kani sila mga tao, ni ato sa suba, money testing. There were about 10,000. 10,000 sila kabuok. Nag-enlist para sa guwat. Ingon ang ginoo, na ako'y last test nila. Paim na silag tubig dito sa suba. O niya obserbahi. Katong ni inom, nga nag-inom ana, ilahi na sila. Nga naman, kanang mga tawhana, maunay mga kosyos. Dili ba mga danghag? Magbantay ba? Di ba? Kosyos. We need to be cautious. Why? Not only do we need courage, but sometimes kung walay temperament, maubitan ng one of the fruits of the Spirit is what? Temperance. Self-control. Usay, paturatoy na lang ta. Ah, di ko magmas kay ang ginoo, nag-uban ako. Kung mamatay, mamatay. Okay. God bless you. Usahay, gamiton pang ginoo. Folks, ayaw ninyo gamita ang ginoo sa dili saktong pamaagi. Do not use the name of the Lord in vain. Don't you realize we have a responsibility as well? Not a responsibility. Lord, tagae ko o lifetime partner. In Jesus' name, Amen. Sige, kagampo, wak maghihapon ko y uyab, kay wak mang ka nang uyab. Laki ha, laki ha. Wala mo ilabot mga babae. Ay, tal mo pang uyab. <laughs> Paghuat lang mo. Ikaw sa babae, nang apo ka, Lord, tagay ko lifetime partner. Di masa ka mo apil sa youth department. Di sa ka mo apil sa uh, kaning uh, young professional. Kaya kids, ayaw lang sa. Ayaw lang sa, Brad Norman, di ba? Di man ka mo apil. Sa o man na. Wala ka nag-expose yung galingon diha nga makita nila ang imong mga characteristics. Imong pagka mahinabangon, imong pagka mainampuon, imong pagka matinumanon, di ba? Imong pagka manggihatagon, makita man na, uy, maayo ni siya oh. So, nag-ampo ka nga, naa kay lifetime partner na yung manguyab ni mo, na, na kita man ka, nag-expose, imo man ang responsibility. Ikaw sad nga, nag-ampo ka, naa kay lifetime partner, nangita sa ka, nakakita ka. And then, <clears throat> uh, pwede bang mag- uh, historia Ato ng responsibilidad. Di ba? Uh, unsa da imong name? Asa ka nag-leave? Kinsa da imong parents? <laughs> Asa ka nag-church? <laughs> ano ba? Imo ng responsibilidad. Amen? Mausad da. Ampo ta Lord, putik tae ko sa bayrot niya. Huwag ka magmas. Huwag kay tarungtog. Wakay tarong exercise. You are not living a healthy lifestyle. So, pagka tubag sa ginoo ni mo, anak. We need to be cautious people. God said in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse number 8, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Now, this is the balance in the Bible. God is a balanced God. Balansi gina. Ang ginoo. 
Ingon ang ginoo, pray. Ingon sa ginoo, watch. Watch and pray. 1 Corinthians 9.27 But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. Sometimes, masayang ang atong gospel presentation tungod kay kita mismo mo o'y ga pawala sa atong testimony kay wala ta naging discipline. Cautious. Philippians 1.28 and, I, and in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of per perdition, but to you of salvation and that of God. We must be cautious because we must be ready in our weakest possible moment with what the enemy brings us in their strongest possible moment. Satan is just waiting for us. You know what sin is? Sin is an unexpected opportunity on an undetected weakness over an unprotected life. Sin is an unexpected opportunity on an undetected weakness over an unprotected life. Every moment, ampo gita, bantay gita. Lastly, God uses confident people. Verse number 12, chapter 7. And the Midianites and the Amalekites and all the children of the east lay along in the valley like grasshoppers for multitude, and their camels were without number as the sand of the seaside for multitude. Verse 13, And when Gideon was come, behold, there was a man that told a dream unto his fellow and said, Behold, I dreamed a dream, and lo, a cake of barley tumbled into the host of Midian, and it came into a tent and smote it that it fell and overturned it, and that the tent lay along. And his fellow answered and said, This is nothing else save the sword of Gideon, the son of Joash, a man of Israel. For into his hand hath God delivered Midian and all the host. And it was so when Gideon heard the telling of the dream and the interpretation thereof, that he worshipped and returned unto the host of Israel and said, Arise, for the Lord hath delivered into your hand the host. Of Midian. Now listen, we can only be confident in God. The reason why we have our daily time in the Word of God is to develop that confidence in God. You know why I stand before you here today? Because years ago, I asked the Lord for a verse to speak to me. Lord, gamiton pa bako nimo or mamatay nako? And God gave me a verse. And I stand only in that word of God that He has given to me. God has a word for you. Ask of God. Lord, give me a word. That's why we have, on sa may atong gihimo, we have memory verses. Nga nung nag-memory verse man tabi? How many of you have a memory verse? Nga memory verse? Nga nung atong memory verse, ato nang balik-balikon. Nga man, mo na'y gahatag na confidence. My memory verse is Psalm 138, verse number 8. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endure it forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hands. Sometimes when I feel like I am inadequate and sometimes I feel, uh, you know, maluya ko sa akong pagpangalagad sa ginoo and sometimes I feel confused Then the Holy Spirit reminds me, hey, I'm not done with you yet. I am perfecting you. I am molding you. That which concerns you. And I am merciful to you in all these things that I am allowing in your life. I am never going to leave you and forsake you. And that just builds me up. Gideon had this same confidence. Of course, during this time, wala pa makumplito ang Bible. The Lord spoke to them in dreams. Just like what He did to Joseph, remember? So with that, si Joseph, confident to si Joseph, tungod sa dream, Nagihatag sa Diyos niya. Karon na atay completed na word of God. Get a word from God. In closing, remember this. I have seen people too big in their sight for God to use. But I have never seen a man small in his sight that God cannot use. So ayaw pag na Nga ako, gamiton ko sa ginoo, kay maayo kay ko. 
Anira gid atong naon Lord, gamit ako. When we are available, God can use you mightily. He uses number one, what kind of a person? Yes, common. Number two, cleansed. Number three, courageous. Number four, cautious. Number five, confident. Ang atong confident na asa Diyos. Amen? Mga nang inigpray na to, Lord of the harvest, send forth labors into, your har- into the harvest. If God says, I want you to go, go. Amen? Maybe God is speaking to you tonight. Maybe God is touching your heart tonight. Maybe God is moving your heart tonight. And you may say, but Lord, I am not yet prepared, Lord. But even though you are not yet prepared, but if God, you know God, is working in your life, surrender to the Lord.